Ilala natin lahat binansigang lumpia, queen dahil sa kanyang kakaibang galing at pagiging malikain at ngayoy itunuturing din na Pinoy Pride dahil siya lang naman ay internationally recognized. Kaya naman para pag-usapan niyan, kasama natin live ang nagbabalik na Lumpia Queen at Webby Award winner, Abby Marquez! Good morning! Good morning! Good morning! Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome, Abby! Oh, yes. very stylish! Yes! Yeah. Abby Marquez! Uh, sorry na ba? Oh, 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 It's, oh, it's giving! Oh, out of the kitchen! <laughs> at yung buhok din, it's giving! Oh, 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 oh very, oh, 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 Parang watawat dito, Mi. Parang watawat. Parang watawat. Parang sobrang spiky, eh. Sa Uzi, kwento mo naman kami. Kasi, di ba, nung last time kang nagpunta rito, we were all so excited. Lalo ngayon because nang galing ka from a trip na talaga namang nirepresent mo ang buong Pilipinas. Di ba? Tapos meron pang, ano ba yung five-word speech ba? Oh, yes. Five words. Five words? Anong sinabi mo? Five words lang. Sabi ko, Philippines, this is for you. Because I don't know what it's like. That's the rule. That's the rule. Like for the longest time, they've been doing that. And very interesting, she's actually very challenging. Because it's easy to speak without counting the words, right? But when they say five, it's really five. If you don't know KJ, you don't know. That's right. But how is it? What's the feeling for you to actually be receiving that award? That's the one. Yes, so... Very happy because uh, I feel like I was able to contribute to bring Filipino food to New Heights because that's what I do, Filipino food. And super honored because it's first siya, so first Filipina born and raised in the Philippines mm. to get that award. So wow. really happy to penetrate these spaces. Yes, oh. Did you have an idea why it's so Siguro dahil maganda ako. Bakit ako maganda? Bakit ako nagka-feeling na yun ang sasabihin? At fashionable. Yung mga ganun, hindi ko na kasi siya in-overtake. But, but, siguro na lang, internally, kasi what I really try to do is take our cuisine and really represent it in a very nice way, entertaining way para mas welcome or mas receptive yung mga tao from other countries to learn about it. So, I feel like na-appreciate nila yun. But for me, I just try to do my best in making nice, fun videos. Okay. Oh, can I just mention very quickly that Abby, kasi I'm also good friends with her friend, yes, si Juju yes. Mao and si Catherine Jean. Hello, hello sa mga tulog pa. Yeah. <laughs> Ako din sa mga tulog pa. Ayan, <laughs> eh. No, but I'll just tell you now, what amazes me is that the kind of a content that you bring forward mm. ay personalidad nyo kasi nakilala ko sila at nakilala yeah. kita at alam ko na walang peke. Uh -uh. Talagang mm. hindi siya performative. Mm. Very wrong. Yes. Kasi maaari mong isipin na ay nagpa-perform sila mm. pero hindi. Ganon sila yeah. off cam. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mao, you wanted yeah, to Yeah, I wanted to ask Abby kasi bilang creative and a content creator mm. at sa dami na na nagawa mong videos, mm. paano mo nagagawa na hindi ka nauubusan ng ideas ng content? Ooh, um, <laughs> actually, Lalim ah. Yes. Lalim. Yeah, um, how we do it is, we actually have a lot of sources okay. of ideas. So one of them, yung comment section, oh, okay. mga suggestion ng ibang tao. Ma marami ng dog show, like, uh -huh. parang joke-joke lang. Gano'n ka dog show? Yung pinaka-dog show na comment? Dinuguan spaghetti. Oh! oh wow. Wow. Na? Hindi pa, gagawin ka pa. Gagawin mo. Kakasaka, kakasaka, promise. Gagawin ko yun. Pwede. Huwag niyo ako inahama. Tapos, ito na number two. Kasi pagka-creative ka, medyo loko-loko ka rin. Talagang minsan, kunyari, pag nishashower ka, o bago ka matulog mo, may isip kang kalokohan, lilista mo na sa cellphone mo yun. Ayun. Maganda to. Nishashower. Waterproof naman yung phone mo. Oo. Ayon. Um, tapos minsan trending yon. Usually naman nakabantay talaga kami sa kung anong trending para. Oh, parang susunod kaysa trend. Yeah. Nice. Trend jacking, de ba? Trend jacking. Ano yung sinin trend jacking? So pag may trend, balas sa sabay kalang sa trend. Galing talaga ni Tito. Galing talaga ni Tito sa sa trend jacking mga mga ano? Mga kids. Pero eto dami naring ano? Collaboration. Ito yes. niya, Abby. Ano mga dapat nating abangan? Oh, um, so when I went to US, uh, one of my missions, mish, my goals was to really meet all of these creators that I admire. So, mga food content creators sila, almost everyone naman na release ko na yung videos uh, namin together. But the thing is, I filmed um, multiple videos with these creators. So, there are a lot more mm -hmm. coming, my next wave pa. 
Um, siguro, uh, dapat yung paabangan ay mga other forms of videos. Right, right. Like more than short form or... Gusto ko yung pag-iingat ni Abby na hindi na ngayon. Kasi baka mag-expect kayo. Ayoko na may commitment issues ka. Siguro more than food, mag-insert ng other like entertainment or music, like cooking, para mas refreshing. Tama, tama, tama. Actually, may question. I remember before, nung nanalo ka sa, I think, Foodie Creator of the Year sa TikTok Awards, di ba? I think you said na it takes you something like eight hours ba to make one video. Yeah. Pero sa mga international collabs na ito, gano'ng katagal? Oh my God. For example, si Uncle Roger. Yeah, grabe. Iba-iba po sila ng sistema. Yun naman yung isa kong natutunan. Bawat creator may sarili-sarili sila ng sistema. May mga creators ako na meet, ayaw nilang lumagpas ng 2 hours yung shoot. Okay. May creator akong na, nakipag-collab ako sa kanya, nag-shoot kami, bago pa ako makauwi sa hotel ko, nabigay niya na sa akin yung edited version. Wow, wow. bilis! Tapos pinost niya kay Nabuka. SDE oh, oh. na. Same day SDE edit na edit Same or edit pa nga po. Oh, Pero wow. sa kakakollab mo with so many different, you know, mga influencers yeah. and create, uh, content creators like you, especially internationally, may mga napipick up ka ba sa mga style nila oh, na ina-apply yeah. mo ngayon? Mm -hmm. Anong nag-stick sa'yo na style? I think um, one of the influences is yung, yung gano'ng kabilis, yung pag-shoot kasi... Proseso. Yeah, the oh. process and the setup. Oh, oh. Doon ko nakikita na depende sa personality nila, depende mm -hmm. sa treatment nila doon sa video, mm -hmm. talagang nag-differentiate sila. Mm -hmm. So for me, na very curated, mm -hmm. yung mga shoot ko na tumatagal ng gano'n, mm -hmm. may mga creators na... Super bilis, super improvised, super right. uh -oh. impromptu, organic. Uh -oh. mm -hmm. Masaya din pala siya. So, uh -oh. challenge ko sa sarili ko is... Paano pumunta doon? Uh -oh. Paano pumunta doon? Uh -oh. Or, ayun, try other treatments. So, from 8 to 13 hours per shoot, magiging... One hour! Ha! Kaya, kaya, kaya! Kaya, kaya! Kaya, kaya! Pero ito, since collaboration sa pagkain, meron nag-stand out ba sa kanila na particular dish na ginawa niya? Oh, particular dish. Ano yung nagmarka sa tingin mo? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. One of the most successful collaborations I had was with Chef Rush. Okay. Gumawa kami ng Bicol Express. Nangita ko yun! Nangita ko yun! Yes, si Chef Rush kasi very big personality, very aggressive. And I chose Bicol Express because one of the most bold flavors we have in Filipino cuisine. Kasi tinanay din namin i-match yung Filipino dish dun sa creator. So, ang ganda ng video kasi talagang kita mo na yung aggressive personality niya, nagbagay. Macho pa siya, diba? Ayan eh. Iniitak. Yeah! Binasag niya yung nyog. Gamit kamay. Thank you. Masaya, masaya. Sarinong table yan, Abby. Sa kanya naman, thankfully. Pero yung kawali, binili ko yan para sa kanya. Oh, talaga? Yaw. Ang daming sili. Sobrang gusto ko talaga pakilala sa kanila yung culture natin. Like, Uncle Roger, binilan ko siya ng barong. Ah! Sinot ba niya? Yeah, sinot niya. May video kami na nag-transform siya, naging Tito Roger. Tito Roger. Yeah, and then si Chef Rush, binigyan ko siya ng kawali. Cute! Cute! Ang ganda mo. Abi, siguro, doon na lang sa mga kapatid nating nanonood kasi ikaw bata ka pa. Mm. At syempre, marami ka nang na-achieve na hindi ka dalasan uh, mm -hmm. sakto sa edad na ganyan. Di ba, lagi lang yeah. sinasabi, pag bata pa, okay lang, take your time. Pero ikaw kasi, you really let your personality shine through. Mm -hmm. Paano kung mahiyain ako, tapos mm -hmm. nanonood ako, nakita ko si Abby mm -hmm. Marquez, paano ko matutulungan nung mga nangyayari sa'yo at ma-inspire ako na to go for my dreams din at ah. maging totoo sa sarili ko? Oh, yeah. I think... Ang priority talaga when it comes to social media is authenticity. Eh. At least that's what I advocate for. And I really do believe na hindi mo kailangan maging loud personality para mag-succeed or kailangan magpakita ng muka even. Because there are a lot of successful creators na ASMR or just hands only or may mga creators na very shy or silent yung approach nila. Like today, I made adobo ganyan. And, and kanya-kanyang audiences yan. So, kung anong trip mo, may mahanap ko sa internet. At as a creator, just believe that whatever you are or whoever you are, meron kang... Audience for that. Mm -hmm. oh, may market at may market. May market kami. Yeah. Meron talaga. Mm -hmm. talaga. Alright, Abby, imitahin natin yung mga kapatid natin. I'm sure if you have anything to promote. Yes, uh, you can follow me on TikTok, Instagram. 
Facebook and YouTube, Abby Marquez. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Promise pa, mga kapatid. Sundan nyo. Mag-e-enjoy at mag-e-enjoy kayo. Oo. Oh, oh, at saka ang saya. Oh, at saka oh. magugutom ka. So, wag mo papanoorin si Abby. <laughs> Gabi. Gabi. Yes. Yan oh. talaga ang masasabi ko. Oo. Oh, oh. Tama. Mga kapatid, Dimples Romana po, kumpletuhin ang inyong umaga ng mga kwentong puno ng inspirasyon. Salubungin po ang bawat araw ng may ngiti at pag-asa. Kaya't mag-subscribe na po at mag-follow na sa aming social media pages ng News 5.